coming to see us. Mine, we're going to wish you a Shana Tova. Thank Happy you. New Year. You can wish it to Max. Yeah, too. I know, I know. Where, what am I not sitting here? Like I say, happy Thank new year you. to you, that. Mayim. And Thank now you, you made some changes to your celebrations this year. Well, I think we're, what did you do? Yeah, I mean, I think we're all trying to figure out what life looks like in different stages of COVID. Mm. And uh, I wear a mask, you know, pretty much all the time, every day at work, in the market, all the places. But for synagogue, I really wanted to not have to sit inside and wear a mask for, mm. you know, the four or five hours that we sit in synagogue. Yeah. So I um, had two outdoor experiences, one with small group of rebels who didn't feel like sitting inside. And the second day, we had an outdoor service at our synagogue, and it was awesome. Oh, glorious. And everything went well? Everything went, went great. Didn't you play quite a major role? Uh, so I, I am a shofar blower. <laughs> Insert joke here. A shofar is a ritual. It's a ram's horn. It's a ritual instrument. Oh, my God, please do it. If there's, if there's I was going to bring it. I was gonna bring it, but I didn't, and oh I. Oh my God! It could have been the. I, we could have done a whole. We could have done won't a whole service. Any of okay, this, so next time. Uh, Anyways, I, and then you that's right. Gonna, uh, What's on. the next one? Do it. Tiki Agudol. Is it no. Tiki Shivarim? Shivarim. Ba ba ba. Oh my God. Is it Tiki Ashra or just a Trua? But then you got to do the last one. Here it is. Tiki Agudol. And then it's as long as you can go. It's as long as you can go, James. And everybody in the audience, and they're like, how long are they going to go? And you never know. It's the most exciting part of the Jewish culture. <laughs> this will be my dad's favorite book that I've ever done <laughs> on a show. So, hang on. Don't cut it out, please. <laughs> So you're blowing a ram's horn. It's very long. I have a Yemenite but one. But your it's, it's your own ram's horn. My my grandmother of blessed memory bought it for me when I had been doing it for many years and looked like I was going to keep doing it. I used to use a little one, but you get a big sound out of the big Yemenite shofar. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yep, we're a very colorful people. I'm <laughs> It's I'm a big deal to have your own shofar. It is a very big deal. It looks decorative year-round on top of the piano. That's where uh, it sits. I don't have one. <laughs> you, just, lo you love it. <laughs> I know. I just feel like I'm, I'm utterly the wrong person to be hosting this show. <laughs> I've got to be honest, in 1,110 <laughs> shows, I've always felt like, no, I know where I am. And right now, in this minute, I'm like, i got nowhere to go. Everywhere, there's a mass of light. I don't know. Your I... presence right now is such a mitzvah. <laughs> you're, you're, really, you're a witness, is what you are. That's mm. right. Well, I'm quelling at the thought of it. <laughs> I really am. Hey! Now, Max, I want to talk to you about this. Now, I can't work out if this is exciting or tragic. You've joined TikTok. Yeah. <laughs> How? Why? What's the response been? Wait, I did it for Rosh Hashanah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my, my daughter and her friends, my daughter had been begging me to join for a long time. And then she got together with some of her friends and they uh, bullied me. And, I, and, my, and my wife joined in on it and was just like, just do it. <laughs> and so they set up the camera and then they taught me. A so like they set up the, my phone on something and then stood behind the phone as I did the dance, and they have, the three of them are behind there going like this, and then you do this. <laughs> and then they took me through the whole dance. I thought it would be one take. It wasn't. They were, they were, um... Militant. Abusive. Mm. Um, I'm not good with choreography. And by the end of it, it was not, it was no longer fun. And, and then we, we, we put it up, and, and they thought, oh, well, how many, how many views will it have by the end of the whatever? I go, I don't know. It's gotten, like... Oh, it's gotten a lot of views. I think it's like, <laughs> it's like 10 million views. Stop. People were very excited about my presence on TikTok, uh, unbeknownst to any of us. And, uh, and now it's, it's just something we don't talk about. Because I think it, 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 it exceeded any expectation. And now it's just a weird thing that just like exists up there. Oh, what, you, so you almost now, you, you can't take it down. It's up there. We you just almost... dropped the one and I'm not going back. <laughs> <laughs> and this is something you now feel like, oh, I feel embarrassed about this. I don't, no, 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 not embarrassed at all. I feel really good about it. I just, <laughs> I, I don't understand the medium and I don't want to, I don't want to get into that world. It's not for me. Well, let's look at it. Let's look at the post.
Valentine's. That was made under duress while I was being berated. I think it looks like a man having a breakdown. Oh my God, of course. But it's, that's a, this is all, it's part of the break. It's part of it. It's a part of it. It might be the beginning, it might be the end, who knows? I got this it. is all part of it too. Now, Maya and Reggie have been spending quite a bit of time together. What's going on? Are you trying to become new best friends? Why are you two spending so much time together? Reggie recently did an episode of uh, my podcast, Maya and Bialik's Breakdown, and um, we had a really, really, a really incredible conversation, and it was very deep and interesting and funny, and um, my partner Jonathan Cohen and I had such a great time. Uh, Reggie was also recently um, on Celebrity Jeopardy. Mm -hmm. So either he's following me or I'm following him, and this is the third of our meetings. And now you're here like right you now. We'd like to be part of a thruple. <laughs> <laughs> it's all he's ever wanted. That's it, it's all he's ever wanted. Now, Max, we've got to congratulate you on the new season of The Neighborhood. You're about to film your 100th episode. It's a huge accomplishment. I can remember when you were shooting the pilot of the show. How are you going to celebrate the 100th episode? I don't know. I'm going to take it day by day. Correct. As Cedric's directing the 100th episode. Oh. Exceptional. Which is the most exciting part. And we'll all celebrate together. We have a great cast. I love everybody in, in the group, and it's going to be a really fun experience. And it's like, honestly, I wish I had some sort of fun bit to do about <laughs> so it. So do I. But it really is just. <laughs> I feel so grateful. You know, this is the second show that I'm on that's going to hit 100 episodes wow. just every day. And the show keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger.